Hi everybody, welcome to He Hunts, She Cooks. I'm Bobby Joe Wasilko. Today we are in the kitchen doing some canning venison. It's uh, that time of year, everybody's out getting their venison and it's a great way to preserve your venison for a long time. You can leave it on the shelf for a year or so. And uh, what we're gonna do with this venison, I'm gonna do it a little bit differently than I usually do. I'm gonna actually put a barbecue rub on it. This is good for some tacos, burritos, uh, stuffing a baked potato, shredding it, putting it on a really great, uh, you know, an egg roll or something. And so this is what we're gonna do. So first of all, it's really important to know the type of canner you need to have. You need to have a pressure canner. The reason why is because venison and meat are low acid foods. And that means that they don't, um, they need a, a higher temperature uh, to reach to render them safe for, for putting them on the shelf for preserving. Okay, so things like lemon have a high acid content, so you don't have to worry so much about that type of spoiling. So lemon, you know, some certain fruits and vegetables can be canned at about 212 degrees, which is the boiling point of water. But a pressure canner needs, you know, it comes up to about 240 or more degrees, and that's what we need. Okay, so we have a pressure canner here. We use it a lot. We've had it for a long time. It's pretty basic stuff here. So we have a, this little rack that goes in the bottom. And what that does is it keeps the jars up off of the, the direct heat so they don't crack, crack on there. We got our lid. And this lid tends to lock into place. So you just put it on like this. I'm just kind of slide it around. I'll just do it later. And then this shows your pressure here. And this is just a pressure regulator. What this does is we put it on top of here and what will happen is it will build up a lot of pressure inside of the can and that will bring it up to 240 degrees. Now we're at 52 degrees above, uh, 52 feet above sea level here, so we have to can ours for about 11 pounds of pressure for 90 minutes. Now you'll have to do yours according to what elevation you are. Um, if you look in your um, your blue book for canning, you're going to find those um, pressures at the different elevations that you'll need. So what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna get some water going to heat in here, a few inches of water. And then so when we get back, I'll show you what, how I'm gonna can all of the, um, uh, the venison, get it packed up. So we'll see you back here in just a second. All right, you guys, I've got about three quarts of water in the uh, pressure canner getting into a medium simmer. Um, here's my venison. This is from the shoulder, the neck, some of that scrap stuff that isn't great for a roast and uh, which is actually my favorite uh, for canning because it actually tenderizes it really nicely. I've made my own barbecue rub. Now you can use one that you like. Um, on our website I'll post the recipe for my barbecue rub but you're welcome to use whatever you like. I have some onion powder, garlic powder, uh, salt, pepper, some sugar, chili powder, oh, what else, some paprika, uh, some onion flakes and um, it's one that I like. I make a big batch of it and put it in little jars and um, just use it whenever. So when I was putting this in the freezer, I actually put some barbecue rub on it, but I'm gonna put just a little bit more on here and um, just, just to give it some really great flavor. Now I have all my canning jars ready to go. We uh, sterilized them in the dishwasher earlier today and I have them in some hot um, water here, some boiling water. Uh, in the sink just to make sure that they get um, you know really warm because you don't want to put a cold jar in warm water or boiling water it will crack of course we don't want that to happen so I'm just gonna mix this up a little bit here I think I need a little bit more I like a lot of the spice okay I think that'll I think that'll about do it Okay, so I'll come over here and grab a jar. So they're really, really hot water, which is hot on my hands. And this is really, really how simple it is. Just toss in the meat. The rub has everything on it that you need, so you don't need any extra seasoning. Now, a lot of times if I'm doing um, just my regular venison uh, canning, I'll just do a couple heaping, heaping tablespoons full of minced garlic um, and kosher salt and pepper. And that's all I need. I don't put any other liquid in it if there's no need to. You will see there's a lot of liquid that actually, actually renders out of the meat. So you don't need to do any of that. Um, and like I said, I pack it in here raw. So just like that. 
and leave a little bit of headspace. I think that's good, about an inch or so. You don't need too much headspace. And then make sure I wipe the jar on the outside clean, like this. Usually my husband's helping me do this part, so I don't have to touch it. Make sure they're hand tight on there, not too tight, but hand tight. And that's it. Now, once I finish all of these jars, I'm gonna be putting them over in the canner and we're gonna lock the canner lid. And then what we're gonna do is allow the steam to, to build up and it will actually steam through the vent for about seven to 10 minutes. Now, once that steams for about seven to 10 minutes, we're gonna put the pressure regulator on top and then we're gonna bring that pressure up to 11 pounds. Now, once it hits 11 pounds, we're gonna set our timer for 90 minutes. So I'm gonna finish filling these up. We'll see you in a couple minutes. I've got the jars in the pressure canner. I finally managed to lock this lid. It was driving me crazy. And we brought the water temperature up and now it's starting to steam. We're gonna let it steam for about seven to 10 minutes. And then once it steams for about that long, we're gonna put the pressure regulator on. Then we're gonna start our timer. And we want this to come up to 11 pounds of pressure. And so we'll leave that there at 11 pounds of pressure. And we'll check it from time to time to make sure it's maintaining that pressure and that'll be for about 90 minutes and then after that we're going to turn it all off let it cool down completely and bring that pressure down to zero we don't want to mess with it until it comes down to zero so we will see you in about oh, i don't know an hour and a half two hours see you then Okay everyone, this is uh, finally died down in pressure. You always want to make sure that it completely goes down in pressure to back to zero before you remove the lid. It's very dangerous, it is under pressure and you could get burnt by the steam. Uh, so always make sure that you do that. Let it sit, just let it calm down a little bit before you open it up, okay? Now it is still very hot so I have to be careful. So I'm just gonna turn the lid here. Okay, all right, so we've got some jars in here. Here's my lifter. Hold it really tight. Okay, there it is. You can see some bubbles coming up in the jar. That's completely normal because it's actually still boiling just a little bit, so don't worry about that. You can hear the seals popping there. They're, uh, that means that's good. They're pressurized and uh, they're going to be safe to put on the, on the uh, shelf for as long as they're going to stay there. We'll probably eat them so fast it won't matter. So there you have it. Canning venison. I have some plans for some of this venison already. I think I can do a maybe kind of a Cajun barbecue cream sauce with the venison and over some really great pasta or maybe some ziti. Uh, I think we could fill some enchiladas with this or maybe even some, my husband's favorite, he likes them thrown all over some corn chips and, and uh, melted cheese and sour cream and he loves his nachos, I don't know. Uh, and also maybe some huevos rancheros, um, a stuffed baked potato, which is one of my favorite things to do with, with uh, any kind of barbecue meat or canned meat. I love putting it on a baked potato. It's the best thing. So anyway, so there you have it. There's a method for canning barbecue venison. So we will see you guys next time on He Hunt She Cooks. Bye.